Well, Lise, you said you wanted to check out some crocodiles, and I reckon Hartley's is the perfect place to do it. Yeah, look, there is so much more than just crocodiles here too, though. It's huge, this place, and there's everything here. I know. Let's go and have a poke around and see what we can find. So when we went into Hartley's, I thought we might see one or two crocs, but I was so surprised to know that there are thousands of crocs there. And there's a different experience for each one of those as well. So you can you know, look at them feeding the croc, you can head out in the boats. There's just so much to do. Now, uh, it is important we know how many people get on and off the boat, of course. Uh, the more important part of that is where they get off the boat. <laughs> The trip out on the boat at Hartley's was just a thoroughly enjoyable, entertaining experience. I mean, not only did you get to see all the crocodiles and see them being fed and how they behaved and all that sort of stuff, but our driver was just a total character. It's Michelle Jackson. She got a name because she got bit on the foot, scar so she turns white. Looked like she had one white glove on her left hand. We can't name a girl Michael, can we? <laughs> he made the whole thing a whole lot better experience just for him being there. When you see them sitting on the bank in the middle of winter, they're trying to thermoregulate, get a core body temperature of somewhere between 28 and 34 degrees Celsius. Oh, you! Yeah, you got it? That's easy. Well, the Komodo dragon is the world's largest lizard, and Australia's largest Komodo dragon is right here at Hartley's. Now, the cool thing about it is you can actually have an experience with it when you get up close and personal, and that is what Alicia is doing right now. How cool is this, guys? This guy is eight years old, weighs about 50 kilos, and I tell you what, you can't get much closer than this, can you? So what are we gonna do here today, Billy? So, you are gonna feed a 4.7 metre croc. I used the word we, you used the <laughs> word you. There's a problem there for me. So you got Spartacus, he's pretty well, I guess you could say him up as our baddest croc at the park. Really, Spartacus, you've lined me up to feed the baddest croc <laughs> in the park. He's in here by himself for that reason. If yeah. you end up in there, that'll be a problem. This guy is massive for his age. He's only 33 and he's already 4.7 metres and probably close to 600 kilo. Well, I hope we put something on the string because I don't want to be the bait at the other end of the pole. <laughs> What, um, what, what you guys can't see at home is that right under me here is Spartacus and he's slowly backing out and it's like a bee double making a move. This thing's big. I've got my croc fighting thongs on. Other thing. Hey, go easy, don't stir up the crocodiles. <laughs> don't lose a pole or it's a case of beer. Oh yeah. There's a lot to remember yeah. when you're feeding crocodiles. <laughs> yep. Oh, nice count. <laughs> I tell you what, when Spartacus grabs, Spartacus grabs. You want to let him have this? <laughs> and the sound of those jaws is something that you'll never forget. I mean, the strength that's in the mouth of that crocodile, let me assure you, you are no competition for Spartacus.